Hi and welcome back. Dean Rutzart here and I'm going to continue with our chemistry series. Uh, we've been looking at uh, naming and uh, we're going to continue with uh, naming acids now. So what I've done is I've taken a number of pieces from our data booklet that we have in class and one of the things that makes it really uh, actually very lucky uh, for students that are taking uh, chemistry here in my class anyway uh, is that we have um, the IUPAC rules for naming acids built right into our data booklet. Uh, so I've taken that as well. Uh, I put that, posted that here. I also have taken the table of polyatomic ions off of your data booklet and just a, a snippet of the, uh, the top right hand corner of your periodic table just because I'm going to be using it in these examples. So when we name acids there's basically three different ways that we can uh, name them and all the rules are here and it's based on the compound name. So when we name the compound, uh, that's what then uh, gives us the idea of how to name the, or allows us to name the, um, the acid. Uh, how are acids uh, recognized? Well, they all have hydrogen in them, okay? And they all start with hydrogen. Uh, and you'll also always see that, it is in, that it's aqueous, so it's in a solution. Uh, so let's move right into how to name these. So the first thing that we do, I'm going to do this example down here. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to name this. So this is, I know this is hydrogen, and then I have to look at this, CO3, I go to my periodic table, uh, polyatomic ions, CO3 is here, that's carbonate. So hydrogen carbonate, and when I now I have to go and look for my rules. And this tells me that if I have uh, a hydrogen compound that ends with hydrogen and then eight, which is what we have here. Okay, we end up with, uh, I have to name it as an ic acid. So I'm going to call this carbonic acid. All right, moving on to our next example. Okay, HF, this is hydrogen. Fluoride. Okay, and uh, when I name that, I'm going to look again at my list up here. It's hydrogen, and so IDE tells me that I have to call it a hydro, and then it'll have an ic acid. So, so now I'm going to call that hydrofluoric acid. Okay, so again, we just follow the rules because uh, fluoride ended in IDE. I have to name it as hydro and then fluoric acid. Okay, moving on to our next one. Okay, HNO2. So I'm going to look on my um, periodic table here, polyatomic ions. NO2 is nitrite. So this is hydrogen nitrite. Okay, ITE tells me that I have to make it an OUS acid, so this is going to be nitrous acid. Okay, really simple, just following along with the rules. Um, and again, they're given on your data table or your data booklet, very simple. All right, now I'm going to go from the, the last time we looked at doing uh, the name to, sorry, the formula to the name. Now we're going to go name to formula. Okay, nitric acid. So I know that it's going to be a hydrogen compound. It has to start with hydrogen. So it's going to be H. And then I'm going to find, it, because it's an ICE, I'm going to follow this rule and just work it backwards. So that means it has to be hydrogen with an eight. So that means it's going to be hydrogen nitrate. Okay, which means that I only have HNO3. And just make sure that the charges are balanced. Okay, uh, when I do this, just like we did with naming, hydrogen has a positive charge, nitrate has a negative one charge. So of course, I'm not going to write those in, but HNO3. Okay, so hydrobromic acid will be 
this is a hydroic acid, so I'm going to have hydrogen with bromide. Okay, and I'm going to go over here. Here's bromine. Okay, my symbol for bromine is Br. Okay, and again, my charges balance out. I didn't do us on the last example, but I need to do this here. We need to make sure that we put an AQ. That tells us that it's in solution, okay, just like all these ones, or AQ as well. So HBr. All right, this brings us to our last example, which is going to be chlorous acid. Okay, chlorous, O-U-S, I'm going to go back to my table. So that means I'm going to be looking for something uh, that ends with I-T-E. Okay, so I go and I look, I find chlorite, okay, right here. And that means that it's going to be, again, I'll just write it up here, H and C-L-O, okay, two. And of course, this has a negative one charge. Charges balance AQ. So HClO2, okay, and that's uh, AQ. That's how we go about naming our acids. Now, again, it's uh, very simple when we do it here in class because we have the IUPAC names uh, or rules for naming them. Uh, and we're dealing mostly with the classic acid name here. The IUPAC name is very simple. All we have to do is actually name what the compound is and like we've always done and now we just put aqueous in front of it um, very very simple but uh, you really need to have an understanding of how to do this classic name so practice these and um, again make sure you have your your data table or your data booklet when you're doing these you always be given it on any kind of quiz or exam and uh, practice makes perfect all right we'll see you in class science